Just in this last year, there have been a lot of big updates to Elementor, new features being added, some we love, some we don't. But one thing that I found happens sometimes are small little things slip through the crack without really getting noticed. And one of those things slipped through me, it slipped by me. I didn't realize it was there, but when I found it, I was really happy about it. And that was adding a link to your container. Now before with columns, if you wanted to put a link that wrapped around your column, which would be great for like a card, you know, you could build a card, you could put all of your elements in it. And then when somebody clicks on any part of that column, it links out to wherever you want to link out to. Well, we needed an additional plugin. It was kind of frustrating, I felt, because I felt like this should be something built into Elementor. I don't like adding plugins for something like this, but we had to. Not with the containers though. Links are now inside containers. So this is gonna be a really quick one. I just wanna show it to you in case if it slipped by you as well. All right, let's check it out. Now this is gonna be a really quick one right here. To get started, we need to make sure we have containers on because this only works with containers, not sections and columns. So that's back here in your Elementor settings, then over here in experiments, and over here to your Flexbox container, putting it on active. Now, Elementor 3.8 is coming out this week, supposedly, hopefully, you know, we're waiting on it, but I've been testing uh, the latest version and containers is ready to go. Uh, I am going to be using that for everything going forward. All right, let's go ahead and edit with Elementor. Now, this was all built with sections and columns right here. And let's go to this section right here. You can see we got these inner columns. Now, if we wanted to say add a link to the whole thing, that way, if you click on any part of the card, let's say right here, I want to give this card some padding and add a background to it. You know, okay, we got a background. So that way it can make it look like it's clickable, like the whole card is clickable or tappable. Well, if we wanted to add a link before to the column, we'd have to add an extra plugin for that. But let's go ahead and turn this into a container. We're going to go over here to our section and we're going to press convert. Now, most of the time this will convert. Well, you can see it just replicated it. Sometimes it does mess up the layout and we got to fix it. So keep that in mind. But we're lucky on this one. It worked. So I'm going to delete that right here. Now you can see when I click, oops, it's hard for me to get that. When I click on it, now it's a container. In fact, let me just pull up the the uh, navigator and we can see here these are all containers so we could click on any of the containers in here and we can make this clickable so we could go here and make the whole section clickable let me close this you know we click on that if we go to additional options over to our html tag now we have this option of the a link turning the whole thing into a link and then we could put our link there Go ahead and turn that off. I'm going to turn it back to a section. Here, if we want to make this card a link, we would go to the container that is wrapping around it, select on Edit Container, go here to your additional option, and then select on A. And now we have a link on the whole thing, and now we could go ahead and we could make this clickable. Let's take a look in the front end. And you can see the whole entire thing now is clickable. So this part right here is cool that we have this option now, but there is a caveat to it. And that is, let me go back here to the container because there's a warning. That is, we cannot use links inside of it. So Elementor even put a warning here. It says don't add links to the elements nested in the container. It'll break the layout. And let me show you what I mean. We're going to take this button right here. Let me copy this. I'm going to paste this inside the container and it looks okay right over here, but let's take a look in the front end and we can see here, you know, it's broken. It's all weird. So what's, what happens here is when we wrap the container with the a tag, making the entire container a link, well, it's messing up any styling that is happening 
to any other link inside that container. You just can't use a boat. So it is a trade-off. This is great if you wanna make a card where you don't have a button and not have to rely on a third-party plugin. So I just found this. And in case if you missed it, I hope it helped you out. Well, I hope you helped this out. And 3.8 is coming out any day now. Containers, well, it's ready. All right, I've been using the beta. It's good to go. And in fact, going forward with my tutorials, my teachings, my trainings, and even our client work as well, we are going to be using just containers because, well, that's the future of Elementor. And it's important to stay ahead of the curve and not stuck behind. Well, I'm interested to hear your thoughts and what do you like about containers? Do you feel that they are ready to go? Drop them inside the comments, get back to everyone, and don't forget to do all that good YouTube stuff. You know, like and subscribe. It does help to support this channel and I'll be back again soon. All right. Thank you for watching.